So for those who are first timers online, I already talked to everyone here uh, in the studio. For those at home, and let's say it's your first time or it's been a while since you've been back, I you can take a break during the class if you just came from a workout. Take a break as well, especially if you're feeling tired. This is a vinyasa class, so it is open level. So it's not going to be like a basic yoga class or a gentle yoga class where we go slow. So again, just do what you can throughout the session, especially with connection issues at home. If the internet goes down or we lose electricity, because I know that uh, here in Iloilo, there are a few brownouts everywhere. So again, if that happens, uh, just be patient, be calm. And if you can try to come back if possible, again, the video is recorded anyway, so you can access it again and do the class again if you want. And then um, if you want to turn off your video during the class, let's say because the connection isn't that good or strong today, I will allow that. You can turn off your video. However, it also helps me to see your form too and to see if I need to assist you in any way. Okay, so it's all up to you here. We're gonna have fun in today's class. Thank you everyone. For coming thank you for those here in the studio for being here and those online um it's nice to see people who have been here since day one there are a few who have been here since day one since i've been teaching in ilo ilo and it's good to see some of you also online who have been with me from the beginning um and new faces of course it's nice to know that our community is growing despite of the pandemic especially now we have online classes who would have thought that when we started the studio, we would end up doing classes online. And here, being able to show up in class is something that we need to be grateful for, that we're allowed to do that here now and that we're all pretty safe. So although we have to wear masks here, um, I hope that you can still flow with me and enjoy the whole experience and those at home, even though we're not really here together face to face, I hope you still have a good experience as well. So are you guys good, ready to go, ready to start? All right, so let's all come to our mat in a seated position. So when you're ready, come to sit down, cross your legs, get comfortable here, hands on your knees. When you're all set, you can close your eyes, roll your shoulders up, back and down a few times. Take your time to settle down here. Take a breath, inhale and exhale again inhale you can breathe in through the nose and breathe it out through the mouth <sighs> good one more time inhale and sigh it out <sighs> relax everything now as you slow things down you slow your breath Feel the heart slow down, the body soften, and observe how that feels as your body begins to change in preparation for your practice. As the state of the mind begins to slow down and calm down, notice that as well. Notice your breath and just be here, be fully present. Begin to unlock the breath that you're going to use throughout the class that will support you throughout the class. So breathe in through the nose and out through the nose now. Inhale through your nose. And exhale through your nose. Inhale. And exhale. As you inhale, feel the breath travel down to the belly. And as you exhale, draw the belly in, releasing the air through the nose. Inhale into your belly. Exhale, pull the belly in, release through the nose. Breathe in. And breathe out. 
continue getting to know this breath. Getting to know the body here as well. And with this observation, the state of the body, mind and breath, begin to set an intention for your practice. What is your purpose for choosing to show up here this morning? And how can this practice support you right now in your life? Whatever happens in today's practice, I'd like you to stay this calm and this grounded and take your last few breaths. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more breath in and a breath out. Bring your hands together to pray your position and then bow your head down, slowly opening up the practice. Bring your hand to the space between your eyebrows and bow down. Namaste. Welcome here. So let's all come to tabletop position. Everybody find your hands and knees on the floor. Spread your fingers wide. And then tuck your toes. As always, let's lean forward and back to wake up our wrists and prep our wrists for the practice. So shift forward and back. As you lean forward, feel the weight on the fingertips. So I need you to look at your hands, spread your fingers wide apart, creating a lot of space between each finger and then feel your weight on the thumbs and pointer fingers the most. And then as you sit back, press into the toes so you also stretch out the feet. And then from here, come back to neutral. You're gonna turn your fingers all the way around so the fingers are pointing to your knees now, uh, pointing to the knees. And when you turn the hands around, turn it outwards away from each other, okay? From there, let's find cat and cow. Inhale, belly down, arch your back, push into the hands and toes, and then exhale, round your back, push away from the floor. Good, again, inhale, belly down, arch your back. You may not go as deep as you normally do. Exhale, round your back, chin to chest. Keep going here. Notice how this feels, just allow me to be more aware and mindful since we're doing something different. A few more, inhale and exhale. All right. Follow your breath and do one more round, inhale and exhale. Very nice. Come back to neutral, turn your fingers forward. Keep your toes curled this time, push into the hands, let's wake up our core, ground your back, drop your head and then float your knees up. Hold it here, keep your knees about an inch off the ground and stay here for five, just keep breathing. Four, very good. Three, press into the thumbs, two and one. Rest your knees down, take a break in child's pose, knees apart, feet together, elbows and forehead down and flip your palms up. Stay there before we do another round. And also take note that this pose is available to you anytime during the practice. So if you need a good break, you can come into this pose. Stay there for now, breathe. Inhale and exhale. A few more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Inhale and exhale. All right, come back up, tabletop position again. And then round your back, curl the toes under. Inhale, exhale, float your knees off the ground. Really dome your back. Imagine you're creating a rainbow shape with your spine. Keep your head down so you can relax your neck. Hold it there for five. Pull the belly in. Four. Yep. Keep rounding. Three, two, and one. Release the knees down. Rest in child's pose. 
not as long as we did earlier. Relax the elbows, flip your palms up. Good. Breathe here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. All right, come back up to tabletop. This time around, I want you to remember what we just did, the rounding of the back, the doming of the back, but then I want you to step your feet back to a high plank position. So one foot at a time, step it back, go ahead, and then hold it here. Keep your head facing down, so you're not gonna drop the head, but your gaze is to the mat so that you can relax your neck. Lean your shoulders forward a little bit more. Let the hips come down a little lower. It is gonna be challenging, but not too low that you feel pain in your lower back already. Push away from the mat, one more breath, inhale. And then exhale, lower your knees down, lower the belly, the chest, all the way to the floor. Come all the way down and stay here for now. Point your toes. Your hands are by the, by the chest, okay, or by the base of the ribs, elbows hugging in. Keep pressing down with the toes. As you inhale, can you lift your chest up and head up? Good, just a low cobra for now, so stay low and then float your hands off the floor. So low cobra lung, meaning you're gonna be really close to the ground. Good, hold it there for three, press into the feet. Two, press your feet down, and one. Release it all the way down. Good, we're gonna do that one more time. So from here, keep pressing the feet, inhale, lift up to a low cobra. So hands and then chest lift up, even the hands as well. Hold it there for three, good, two, and one, release it down to the mat. We're gonna do that for one last time. If you can, try to lift up even higher. Inhale, lift the hands and chest, hold it there for five. Very good, four, three, keep the toes down, two, and one, release to the floor. Curl your toes under. Now, here we go, we're gonna lift up to plank. If you need the support of your knees, go ahead, inhale, lift up high plank position. Yes, hold it there. Five, spread the fingers wide. Four, good. Three, hips a little higher for some of you. Two, there you go. And one, hips up, downward facing dog. So lift the hips up and back now. Good, so first down dog for today maybe. So pedal out your feet, push the heels down. Let the head relax. Can you bend your knees a little bit so that the spine can lengthen? If you feel that your chest is still far from the legs, especially if you feel a lot of weight on the arms and shoulders, that may be a sign that you need to shorten your stance a bit. Hold it there, breathe in and breathe out. Walk your feet here. Good, and then lift up higher, drop your head. Yeah, there you go. Your down dog should feel very different from your plank. Take another breath, inhale and exhale. In fact, inhale, lean forward to high plank. Good, and really move your body forward. The body is long and straight. And then exhale, hips up and back, down dog again. Your feet and hands don't have to move that much here. Inhale, lean forward, high plank, but the spine moves a lot. The pelvis follows along. Exhale, hips up, downward dog. Very good. Let's do it one more time. Inhale forward to your high plank. And then exhale, hips up, downward facing dog. Good. Hold it here for a few more breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. One more breath, inhale and exhale. From here, inhale, look forward and start to walk your feet outside of your hands. So take the feet wide apart. Your feet are outside of the hands and the toes are turning out, heels are turning in. Just bow your head down, forward fold. So the butt lifts up high, let the head relax. It's okay if your hands can reach to the floor. You can hold on to opposite elbows. Face side to side. Even in. Out, let's your back. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath in here. And exhale. From here, release your hands down and then inhale, lift up halfway. So hands on the shins, shoulders pull back, heart forward. Exhale, fold and bow your head down, bend the knees, feel the weight on the toes. One more time, inhale, lift up halfway, chest up, shoulders back. 
Exhale, hold forward and bow your head down. Good. Now inhale, roll the spine up to stand, hands up to the ceiling, reach up high. And then exhale, hands to your heart. Stay here in mountain pose. Feet are still apart. Close your eyes. Take a few moments as you're standing upright. Feel the whole body here from the feet all the way to the crown of your head. Feel the breath after the few movements that we've done so far. And take your last breath here, inhale and exhale. Open your eyes, arms down by your side. Inhale, sweep your hands all the way up and then exhale, hands to the heart, squat. So active squat, push the butt back, lift the chest up, hold it there, breathe in. Breathe out, relax the shoulders. One more inhale, very good. Exhale, hands to the floor, bow your head down, lift the butt a little higher. Inhale, lift up halfway, lengthen your spine, shoulders back. Exhale, take your hands down. Step back to your high plank position. Good, shoulders over the wrist, body long and straight. Take another breath, inhale. Exhale, lower down, either with knees or without, come down to the mat, all the way down to the mat. Good. Once you're on your belly, point your toes. Inhale, lift up to a cobra. So now you can go up higher if you're ready or stay low like you did earlier. Exhale, tuck your toes, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Good, breathe here, inhale and exhale. Good, feet hips width apart. So make sure the feet are not too wide. They're not as wide as the yoga mat here. Inhale and exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale, inhale, step your feet forward outside of your hands. Good, and then lift up halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold, bow your head, feet wide apart. Inhale, active squat, so bend your knees, arms forward this time. Good, just reach forward, push the butt back. Good, hold it there, one more breath, inhale. Exhale, stand up, arms down by your side. Inhale, sweep your hands up. Exhale, hands to the heart, active squat. Take a breath in, exhale, palms down, fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway, chest up. Exhale, hands down, step it back, high plank again. Remember you have options here, full chaturanga or kneeling chaturanga, inhale. Exhale, come down. Inhale, lift up to your back bend, either cobra or up dog. Exhale, hips up and back, downward dog. Breathe, good, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Breathe in, hips higher, chest back. Exhale. Inhale, look at your hands. Step your feet forward outside of your hands. Again, feet wider apart. Lift up halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold and bow your head. Inhale, bend the knees, active squat, arms forward, sit low. Good, hold for three, two, and one. Stand up, arms down by your side. Good, inhale, sweep your hands up one more time. Exhale, active squat, hands to the heart, lamp, push your butt back. Knees push away from each other. And then from here, fold it forward, bow your head. Inhale, come up halfway, lengthen. Exhale, hands to the floor, step it back, plank position. With or without knees, inhale, exhale, come down, chaturanga. Inhale, lift up to your back bend, point your toes. Exhale, hips up, downward facing dog. Good. Nice work, everyone. Inhale, sigh it out. <sighs> Good. And one more inhale, sigh it out. <sighs> now from your down dog, inhale, step the right foot forward to the right thumb, all the way to the top. Bring your left knee down to the mat, and then inhale, sweep your hands up over your head. Relax the shoulders, good. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale, bend at the elbows and lift your chest. Open the heart, look up at the sky. Inhale, reach your hands up again. Exhale, bend the elbows, slightly lean back, hips drop forward. One last, inhale, reach it up. Exhale, bend the elbows, hips sink deeper. And then from here, take your hands behind you, Either interlace the fingers if it's available to you or just keep your hands 
reaching back, chest up, sink the hips deeper and hold, inhale. Good, exhale. You don't have to drop your head back. If it's uncomfortable, just gaze up. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Bring your hands down to the mat and then step it back, high plank position. Now it's your choice. Take a vinyasa like we've been doing so far or rest in child's pose or down dog. Okay, it's up to you. Good, one breath, one movement. Inhale and exhale. Good. Inhale, exhale. Now, if you're ready, meet us back in down dog or stay where you are so we can do the other side. Inhale, step your left foot forward to the top of your mat. Lower the back knee down and make sure the right knee is further back so the hips can sink forward to the heel. Hands up over your head. Take a breath in. Exhale, bend at the elbows. Open your chest. Keep the core tight. Inhale, reach your hands up again. Exhale, bend at the elbows. Lift the chin and chest a bit. One more, inhale up. Exhale, bend the elbows. From here, reach your hands back. Either just keep it here or interlock your fingers again. Sink the deeper chest higher and breathe. Inhale, feel like the hands are reaching for the legs. Exhale, breathe in, breathe out. One more, inhale and exhale. Release your hands down to the floor. Step it back, finding your plank. Take your vinyasa or rest in child pose or down dog. Good. Nice. Breathe, take your time, inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last breath, inhale and exhale. Feel free to stay in child or if you're ready, meet us in down dog. Everyone inhale, look forward. Step, hop or walk outside of your hands again. So wide apart, lift up halfway lengthen. Exhale, fold, bow your head down. Inhale, bend your knees, chair or active squat, arms forward, good. Hold it there, one more breath, inhale. Exhale, stand up, arms down by your side. Take a breath, inhale and exhale. All right, let's move on. From here, inhale, sit down to your active squat. Good, hold it there, inhale. And then exhale, bring your hands to the heart, transfer the weight to the right leg and lift this left knee up. Good, take a breath, inhale, flex the left foot. And then exhale, step your left foot back, adjust your stance so the right foot is pointing forward. The left toes are further back and sink deep in this lunge. Inhale, sweep your hands up. Good, exhale, bend the elbows, lift the chest just like we did. Then reach your hands back, interlace the fingers, stretch it back. Take a breath, inhale, exhale, shift forward, hover above the right thigh, crown of the head reaching forward, hold it there for three, try your best not to rest on the thigh, two, and one, bring your hands down. If you need to rest your left knee down, go ahead, you can also keep this up, left hand flat, right hand will now reach up to a revolved lunge, hold it there and breathe, good, inhale, exhale. Inhale, nice. Exhale, last. In and out. Right hand down, step it back, plank pose. Yogi's choice, vinyasa or rest. And then meet us in down dog when you're ready. Take it one breath at a time. Power through here. Recall your intention, your purpose for being here today and continue to honor that, whatever happens on the mat. Listen to your body and honor where your body's at this morning. Let's take one more breath, inhale and exhale. If you're ready to join us, look forward, step, hop, or walk to the front of your mat. Lift up halfway, good. Exhale, fold and bow your head down. Stay right there for a moment, breathe for now. Inhale there. And exhale. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Now inhale. Come to your active squat. Arms forward. Good. This time we're going to stay here. Sit a little lower. 
bring your hand to the heart, hold your active squat. Begin to stand on your left leg, inhale, right knee will come up, balance on your left leg, flex the right foot, and stay active all throughout, chest is lifted. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Step your right foot back to a lunge. Adjust your feet, hips sink deeper, push into the left heel, and then reach your hands up, inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows, chest up, reach your hands back, interlace your fingers, stretch it back, inhale. Exhale, shift forward, hold. Bend deep, don't rest on the thigh. Lift your chest higher, bend the knee deeper, hips lower. Hold for three, two, and one. Hands down, framing the left foot. Feel free to adjust the right foot further back, sink the hips deep. Inhale, left hand up, twist, hold, breathe, inhale, and exhale, good. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Take the left hand down. Step it back. Yogi's choice. Vinyasa, down dog, or child pose. Breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Feel free to stay in child. If you're ready, come us in down dog. Look forward, inhale. Step, hop, or walk to the top of your mat. Feet apart. Feet still apart. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, active squat. Arms forward. Sit low. Good. Hold it there, inhale. Exhale, stand on the right leg, hands to the heart, left knee up. Hold, inhale. Exhale, step it back, find a lunge. Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, bend the elbows, chest up. Reach your hands back, interlace the fingers. Inhale, stretch it back. Exhale, lean it forward. Shift your weight to the right leg. Okay, now you can stay here, maybe release the hands. They can even come down to the mat. We will lift up to warrior three. So float this left leg up slowly, flex the left foot, lengthen your spine and breathe. Inhale, remember the hands can come down. Exhale, square your hips. Inhale, exhale, one more. Inhale, as you exhale, lift this left knee up to the chest, hands to the heart, resetting here, and then step it down. Active squat. Good. Just keep your hand to the heart this time. Take another breath. Inhale, hands to heart. And exhale. Other side. Stand on the left leg. Lift this right knee up. Good. Already breathe right after this sequence. We're all going to take a break. Inhale. Exhale, step it back. Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, bend the elbows, chest up. Reach your hands back. Inhale, interlace, lengthen, exhale, lean forward. When you're ready, warrior three, lean to the left leg, lift the right leg up. Feel free to drop your hands down for extra support and hold. Inhale and exhale. Very good. Inhale, exhale, last in and out. Bring the right knee to the chest, rise up, hands to the heart. Good, inhale, exhale, foot down, squat, inhale, exhale, fold. Nice work. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, palms down, step it back. Either flow through a vinyasa or just come to child's pose. When you're done with your vinyasa, come to child's pose as well. Very good. You can take a sip of water, wipe your sweat, breathe here. Inhale and exhale. Notice your heart right now and then soften around the heart space. Feel the body sink down deeper into the earth, relaxing your muscles.
Maybe close your eyes. Take a moment here. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhale and exhale. So as we go through another sequence here, can you power through that sequence, convincing your mind, your body that you are strong enough to get through it? Finding grace as you move through it, moving slowly and mindfully, even if it's not perfect. Taking variations, if you know that your body cannot really handle it today, but still pushing forward, continuing on. Take a few more breaths here, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One last breath, inhale and exhale. Good. From here, come up to down dog again. Palms are flat, lift your hips up and back. And inhale through your nose. Exhale through the nose. Relax the head, the neck down. Breathe in. Good. Breathe out. One more breath. Inhale. Relax. Good. Exhale. From here, inhale. Look forward. Step up or walk to the hand outside of the hand again. Lift up halfway. Lengthen your spine. Exhale. Fold. Bow your head down. Inhale. Active squat. Sit down. Hands to the heart. Hold it there, stand on your right leg. Inhale, left knee will come up. Exhale, step it back. High lunge, sweep your hands up, inhale. From here, exhale, warrior two. Left foot flat, arms out wide, bend into the right knee, everyone facing the left side of your mat. Adjust your feet wider apart, super wide, step on the entire mat. So right foot here, and then left foot all the way back here to the end of your mat, keep going. Good, turn your toes forward, the left foot angles forward, breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, exhale, inhale and exhale. Extend your right leg straight, flip the right palm up, reverse your triangle, right arm over your ear, left hand resting on the back side, right leg straight, so extend the right leg, chin up, Look up, inhale, exhale, inhale, extend the right leg, exhale, straighten, straighten, yes, inhale, exhale, triangle pose, come to center, reach forward, take your hand to the shin, left arm to the front of the room, chest open, breathe, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, inhale, and exhale. From here, come all the way up, bend the right knee, and then move to face the front of the room, the front of your mat, finding your high lunge, hands up back to where we were earlier. Continuing on with our sequence, inhale, exhale, bend the elbows, chest up. Inhale, reach your hands back, interlace the fingers, then exhale, lean forward, lift up warrior three. From here, stand all the way up, left knee to chest, hands to the heart. Exhale, step it down, squat, coming back here. Other side, inhale, right knee will lift up, stand on the left leg. Exhale, step it back, sweep your hands up, lunge, inhale. Exhale, warrior two, arms out wide, foot flat, look forward and hold. Palms are facing down, legs are wide apart, ground into the edge of the right foot, bend into the left knee, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, inhale, and exhale, one more inhale, and exhale, extend the left leg, flip your left palm up, reverse triangle, left arm over the head, Right hand on the back leg. Inhale. Exhale. In. 
Good, and out. Last in and out. Come to center, triangle pose, keep the legs straight, reach forward, hand on the shin, right arm over your head, spin your chest up and breathe in. Good, and out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Come all the way up, bend your left knee, and then turn to face the front, arms up over your head, pivot the right heel up so you're back in the lunge. Inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows, chest up. Reach your hands back, inhale. Exhale, lean forward, lift the right leg up. Warrior three, take a breath, inhale. And exhale, bring the right knee into the chest. Inhale, hands to heart. Exhale, squat. We'll go through it one last time, adding one last bit here. Inhale here. And exhale, left knee up, knee to chest. Stand on the right leg, left knee is lifted. Step it back, high lunge. Inhale. And then exhale, reverse warrior. So left foot flat, right knee bent, right arm over your head. And then triangle pose. Bend the right knee, reach forward, hand to the shin, left arm over your head. Both legs are straight. Look down at the ground, find your high lunge, hands up over the head. Exhale, bend the elbows, lift your chest. Take your hands behind you, interlace, stretch it back, inhale. Exhale, shift forward, lift it up. Warrior three. Slowly bring the left knee up to the heart, hand to the heart here. And then exhale, left ankle over the right knee, sit down, hands stay here. Breathe, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale, last breath, inhale, exhale. Release this left leg, kick it back, hands down to the floor. Point your left foot, drop your head down, walk your hands back to the right leg. Kick it up higher and higher. Good, you got this. Breathe in and breathe out. Just one more. Inhale, nice work. And then exhale, step your left foot all the way back. Bring the left knee down. Walk your hands back, hips back until the right leg is straight. Inhale, lift your chest up. Make sure to not sit on the back heel. Exhale, just fold. Nice and easy fold. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. From here, lift your chest. Rebend your right knee into this lunge. And then left hand stays on the ground. Reach your right hand back. Option one, just keep the hand on the back. Option two, only if your knee will allow you. I want you to bring this heel up to the butt, grab your left foot with your right hand, and then stretch the left side, kick your foot back. So kick the foot away from you. Breathe, inhale, hips sink deeper, exhale. Inhale, exhale, last breath, in and out. Gently release your left foot, bring it down, step it back, vinyasa. Yogi's choice, take your vinyasa, and then we'll all meet in down dog. That was the last bit, so we just have one more side, and then we're all gonna come down, take it slow, start to stretch. So for this last set, can you show up for yourself? Can you be present in each pose and breathe through it? Take another breath, inhale. And exhale. Here we go, inhale, step forward or jump forward outside of your hands. Lift up halfway lengthen, exhale, fold, bow the head. Inhale, active squat, sit down, hand to the heart. Good, push your butt back, feel the weight on your heel so you're more supported. Take another breath, inhale, stand on the left leg, right knee up to the chest. Inhale, step back, high lunge. Hands reach up over the head. And then exhale, reverse warrior, right foot flat, left arm over the head, right hand on the back side. 
Good. Triangle pose. Reach forward. Extend the left leg. Hand to the shin. Right arm over your head. Chest up. Good. Left leg should be straight here. Take another breath in your triangle. Inhale. And exhale. Look down. Bend your left knee. Pivot the right heel up. Lift up. High lunge. Good. Reset here. Exhale. Practice your arms. Lift the chest. Bring your hands back. Interlock your fingers. Inhale. Shift forward. Right leg will lift up. And then exhale. Bring the knee to the chest. Stand up. Hand to the heart. Exhale. Ankle to the left knee. Sit down. Pigeon chair. Push your butt back. Flex the right foot. Chest is lifted. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. From here, release this right leg. Take it all the way back. Take your hands down. Point your foot for standing split. Drop your head. Walk the hands by the left foot. And try to lift the right leg a little higher. It doesn't have to be that high. Wherever the leg is, is fine. Take another breath. Inhale. And exhale. Lower the right foot all the way to the back of the mat. Bring your right knee down. Send your hips back without sitting on the right heel. Flex the left foot, chest up. Inhale, left leg is straight. Exhale, fold. Very good. And exhale. And out. Last, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, rebend your left knee into a lunge. So sink the hips deep. Keep your left heel under the knee. So adjust that foot if you need to to the knee just right above the heel. You're going to take your left hand back. Option one, left hand can rest on the lower back. Okay, option two, you can lift the heel to the butt, grab the foot, but make sure to kick the foot away from you. Sink your hips deeper and lift your chest. Remember, this is just an option. You don't have to do this. Breathe, inhale, and exhale. Just keep your hand on your back if it's hard to reach the foot. Inhale, and exhale. Last, inhale, and exhale. Release your foot here carefully. Take your hand down, lift the right knee up. Last vinyasa, step it back, yogi soy, flow through. When you're done, we'll all meet in child's pose. Good. So once you come in child pose, make sure to sit the hips back to the heels, knees wide apart, big toes are touching. And while you're here, already acknowledge your effort of showing up, showing up in every pose you could do today, letting go of any comparisons, any expectations, any judgments you had along the way. This is your own practice, your own self practice. So I want you to pay attention to your own journey here. And as you're here right now, resting in your child's pose, can you think of at least two things that you see as a small win? It could be different for you. And I want you to celebrate those small wins here. Maybe your small win today was letting yourself get out of bed when you could have stayed. Maybe your small win was trying something new, even if you were afraid or hesitant. Or maybe your small win was listening to your body and honoring that, honoring your needs here however way that looked like. Take your last two breaths here, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Walk your hands back, lift yourself up to sitting down and then swing your legs forward so you can come all the way down on the floor. Good, okay, so now that we're back on the ground, bring your feet flat on the ground, take your hands behind you, 
as always, your reverse tabletop just to stretch the shoulders after all the work you've done on the shoulders and arms today. Push into the ground, inhale, hips up. Try to get your hips as high as they can go, but I want you to make sure you're pushing into the thumb and big toe. Breathe in, very good. Breathe out, lift the chest. Inhale, exhale. One more in. And out, release your hips down slowly. Take your feet together. Knees out wide, butterfly. And then heels pull in. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, fold forward, bow down. We're all look different in this pose. Some of you may have the head really close to the ground. Some of you may be further away, that's okay. If you're coming down in this pose, make sure that the hips are pressing down. The goal is not to bring your weight forward, it's to keep the weight right here in the pelvis. So push your hips down, your buttocks down, and wherever you end up is perfectly okay. Inhale and exhale, stay right there. For those who want to reach the hands forward, you can crawl your hands forward and breathe. Move your feet forward a little bit more. Good, all the way here, good. And then come down, go ahead. And then push all your weight here. Good, hands can reach forward if you want. Relax the shoulders. Take two more breaths, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, walk your hands back, lift yourself up. Okay, then I want you to extend the left leg forward. We're gonna do your baby wild thing, almost like a side plank, just to stretch out the side of the body. So take the right hand behind you with your fingers pointing back, the left leg is straight. Send your weight to the right knee and to the right hand, lift your butt off the floor, point the left foot forward and just swing the left arm over your head. Push the hips forward, really get deep into the left side of your body, relax the neck. Inhale, good, exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, and exhale. Slowly lower the hips all the way down, and then extend the right leg, other side. Bend your left knee, heel to the groin, hands go behind you, fingers pointing back. Inhale, shift the weight to the left knee and hand, Hips up, right arm over your head, stretch, inhale, good. And exhale. Exhale, last, inhale. And then exhale, come all the way down. Last one before we lie down, extend your legs straight forward, flex your feet, inhale, hands up. Exhale, reach forward, bend the knees if you need to, so you can fold deeply. Breathe in your Paschimottanasana. Flexing the toes, lengthening the spine. Breathe in, very good. Breathe out, relax the shoulders and elbows. Inhale, exhale, one last breath, inhale. And exhale, inhale. Slowly roll your spine up, bend your knees, feet flat, move forward so you have more space behind you. Hands in front, inhale. Exhale, roll all the way down until you're lying down on the ground. From here, once you're lying down, take the right ankle over the left knee. Right ankle over the left knee. Bring the left foot closer to the butt, so step it back a bit closer to the butt, and then arms out wide. Now take note, the legs will not change this position. It'll stay this way with the ankle still in front of the knee. And imagine that your ankle is glued to your left thigh or left knee, okay? Take a breath in, exhale, drop your legs to the left all the way down. So here, your left leg is laying on its side. The right foot is flat while the right knee is pointing up, okay? And if you want a deeper stretch here, you can adjust your legs a bit higher, closer to the left arm without the ankle and the knee separating. And then turn your head to the right. Your left hand can even push your right knee forward away from you. Breathe in. 
Breathe out, relax your legs here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Very good, look up at the ceiling. And then release the pose by coming up to center again. Switch legs, right foot down, left ankle on the knee, keep those together. Left arm reaches out to the side, inhale. Exhale, drop your leg down to the right. Left foot flat, move the legs higher if you want, closer to the right arm. And then the right hand can push the left thigh away from you and turn your head and look to the left hand. Breathe in and out. Inhale and exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. One last. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, look up at the ceiling, come back to center, and lastly, find your happy baby pose. So draw the knees in, grab the edges of your feet, keep the knees outside of the elbows, and just pull your knees down to the ribs. Sway side to side, inhale, and exhale. Very good. Already prepping your body for your final resting pose. If you want to extend one leg out at a time, go ahead. That may feel really good after all the work you've done on your leg in those squats. And then finally, release your legs. You can come into your choice, whether, whether it's in recline bound angle pose or leg straight in Shavasana, or you can also choose to keep your feet flat, knees together. So many options here. Pay attention to what the body needs and what will help you feel the best. And then make sure that whatever you choose, you avoid moving too much. There is value in finding stillness and surrendering completely. So I want you to practice that here. Let go of everything that has just happened, even letting go of the entire practice already, it's done. Letting go of what you could do and couldn't do. Letting go of where you're headed next. Let's be here on your mat. And take a big breath in and a breath out. Enjoy your Shavasana.
very slowly start to reawaken your body here. Coming back to this space. Begin to move your toes, move your fingers, move your head side to side. Stretch your arms over your head. Bring your legs together, legs straight. And inhale, sigh it all out. Bend your knees. Roll over to one side and stay there in a fetal position. Let's take a few moments here first. And then press into the ground, lift yourself up and find a seated position. For everyone in the studio, turn to face the screen. For everyone at home, you can do the same, face your screen so we're all facing each other. Close your eyes, hands on your knees and sit up tall. Honor yourself here for showing up on your mat making time to give back to yourself. Honor each other's presence for sharing this practice, for celebrating together small wins, celebrating your own personal journey on the mat here as well. And thank you for allowing me to serve you, to guide you, and most importantly, to be part of your yoga journey. Bring your hands together to prayer position, bowing down, Thank you all and have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care. Namaste.